morning and welcome to America's Home Cooking. Uh, Happy New Year. I hope you had a safe time last night and that your New Year starts on a, on a very good note. Today I'm making lunchtime pizzas. Now this makes four, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to be making three because we actually make a meal out of this and I'm going to put more than they say on it because this is how I make it. All right, you're going to need two and a half cups of all, you're going to need a food processor to do this one, they say. And you're gonna have to grease baking sheets. All right, we need, yeah, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Oh, we did not do that. breakfast, we've had them for lunch, we've had them for supper, and we just enjoy them in the house very, very much. You're going to need a tablespoon of wheat germ, and it can be toasted or raw. If you have it raw, I know it's going to have to stay in the refrigerator. Well, I keep them both in the refrigerator, so I, I need a tablespoon. <laughs> And two tablespoons of powdered milk. We're going to make them a little more nutritious than what they are because I make a meal out of them. And it picks up not just the nutritional value, but also picks up the protein. A little bit of powdered milk goes a long way, believe it or not. And the object is when you add the wheat germ or powdered milk, you sit there and you don't want to interfere with the flavor that you're making, but you also want to pick up the nutritional value. This is why when I make cakes, I don't use wheat germ. I use something else because I have to be very, very careful that I don't interfere with the cake and it tastes more like you're having bread. So it's a balancing act. Now to that, we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And for your salt, we're going to need a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. First thing you're going to do is mix this up. Now you want four tablespoons of butter. Come on, I know you stuck. I always put my butter back up because it gets soft so easy. It's not so good. We 
even need one cup of milk. I told you this is a very easy recipe. Turn your oven to 425. Very slowly, you're going to add in a cup of milk. By the way, this isn't the only pizza recipe I have. I have a lot of them. I even have sourdough ones. I'm going to tell you, if you're making four, they only want them to be seven or eight inches in a circle, all right? So we're talking about anywhere from here to here, so you can see that they're going to cover a plate. My son woke me up at... Uh, four minutes before midnight and he had bought a very, very mild <laughs> champagne as he knows me. He knows I don't drink. Well, I want you to know I went to bed feeling quite good and I didn't drink that much. I went back to bed and slept. And he said, Mommy, are you getting? I said, yes, I am. son. He said, they said, I'm going to bed. I'm tired. Thank you. Happy New Year. Good night. <laughs> Sorry like that. We, we're short and to the point. To us, it's not a party time. It's celebrating, hoping the new year comes in bed have a better year than what we've got. You're going to need this a little bit. And if you're making four, divide four. Now this recipe makes four. And remember, I am making just three. Now if you want to make just two, just cut the recipe that I'm giving you in half and you'll have two. I used to make four. When my husband passed, I said, shoot, I'm not going to try to divide this up for thirds. So we just decided we'd have bigger pizzas each. <laughs> and that's how we did it. You can see the dough's getting soft as you work it a bit. It has a nice texture to it, a nice feel to it. You're going to divide it into fourths. And this is what you're going to make each one out of. Now, do not say anything. Mine are not going to be round. I'm going to warn you right now. They are not. I'm going to try. Mine come out in all different shapes and sizes. I start out like this, but it doesn't always work out comes out and you're watching me, I'd be very happy.
You know, you can be cheap and we'll be back to it in a bit. Wait a minute. One, two, why am I making four? One, two, I just told you. See what I do? Sometimes you wonder where my head is, right? All right, I'll put one up and I'll use it for something else. I'm gonna make four. Maybe it's telling me I should invite somebody to lunch. Or dinner. You could by hand work the dough if you wish. I was just being, I'm being lazy. I use a food processor on some things. buy it by the stick, you're going to have to cut it thin. I buy it like this, I'm just being lazy. Okay, we'll do it differently. What I am going to do is pepperoni all over this. Wherever they fit, I'm going to put them on. The way I do this one is how I'm going to do the rest of them as well. So just letting you know, I'm not going to do it any different than what I just did. Put this on the side. tomatoes. do the same thing with your tomatoes. Make sure you cover it completely if you like a lot of tomatoes. I use the meaty ones so it's not too runny, so be careful. That's why I use the meaty or what you call egg tomatoes or whatever you call them now. We knew I make meaty tomatoes. If you use the other ones, you're going to find out it's going to be very moist. You're going to need for each pizza, you're going to need a fourth, four ounces 
of a Swiss cheese. So that's half a package here. I think it's a half package here, isn't it? No, a little more than half, sorry. And we're just gonna grater this like crazy. I think both of my sons are working today. I'm not even sure. Well, we're halfway through the um, Christmas holidays. We got five more days and it ends January 6th. You're going to spring basil on it. I told you this is an easy recipe. As much as you want. Put oregano on it. Now the next one you don't have to put on, but we like ours a little spicy, so I'm going to use red pepper flakes. So this is a decision on this one you have to make, but that's the basic recipe when they give you a choice to add this or not. So that's your choice. That is it. Do you notice that I made this piece of meat? And I'm gonna continue doing this, and this cooks for I remember correctly, 12 to 15 minutes, and I'll see you then. Okay, the first one's done. lunchtime pizza. Though so we have it for breakfast, snacks, lunch, sometimes dinner. But anyway, it's called lunchtime pizza, but we have it all the time. Take care. Enjoy your day.